Hi everybody, Matt Elliott here at Garrity RV Super Centers in sunny Junction City, Oregon. Finally get to shoot a video in the sun. I'm so happy about it. Today I'm going to show you a really cool trailer. This is a Jayco 232 RB and it's really a traditional floor plan, a classic floor plan. Not a slide out, but it's got great seating and sleeping and you'll see all that when we go inside. A couple of quick notes about Jayco. Jayco's been around for over 50 years and they're one of the top selling trailers of all time. I love selling Jayco's because they have, first of all, they have a two-year bumper-to-bumper warranty where most products only have a one-year warranty. And they have a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor and a 3 8 tongue and groove plywood roof. They're fully walkable, very strong, very quality trailer, excellent for the money. And this particular one has some great features. This is called a J-Flight SLX, but it's the Rocky Mountain Edition. And it's got some good things about it, you'll see as we go. But let's look at the inside first. Now it's kind of nice to see that you have a good grab handle. We're really close in here. Sorry about that camera guy. Okay, come on in. So the thing about this floor plan that I love is it's a trailer that's, first of all, it's not too big and yet it has a couch, a dinette, and a queen walk around bed and a really nice bathroom and a lot of storage. We're going to start back here at the bathroom end and sort of work our way up. So. One of the things that's great about a rear bathroom is that by putting the bathroom in the back, it means I get the whole width of the trailer for the bathroom. It's not so congested in here as the ones that are kind of in the corner or where you have the corner in the kitchen both in the middle and the whole trailer gets really tight. This is spacious. It's got a nice skylight. It's got a real live bathtub in here. Uh, tall guys can get in here and, and wash their hair and everything. There's a great wardrobe in the very back. Now, a lot of trailers kind of suffer in the area of hanging storage, so it's great to see that. It's got a nice medicine cabinet here. The other thing that's nice is that it's got a porcelain toilet. Porcelain toilets are much easier to clean. They last a long time. And if you take a look in here, there's plenty of room. A big guy can get in here and use this. There's room for his knees. There's room to turn around and get dressed. It's super. Now. The other thing that's cool about a rear bath trailer is it's not in the middle, so it opens up the whole entire floor plan. Personally, for me, I usually like rear baths a little better than the others. Now, we're going to look at the kitchen area now, and the first thing I want to point out is that this is an 8 cubic foot refrigerator. It's great. It's got a great big freezer with a deep basin in here, and it's got a, a lot of storage in here. Most trailers only have a five or six cubic foot fridge, so the eight cubic is a big deal. Also, you've got a nice full-size dinette here. That makes into a bed, and there's storage under both sides. Now up here, this is your home theater system, and this will play movies. It'll connect to Bluetooth. You can run auxiliary stuff like your own HDMI or, or uh, USB-driven stuff you can put into this. And you can set your TV on this wall. This one doesn't have a TV, but it'd be very easy to add it, and we do that all the time. Um, and so we have all LED lights in here too. So this place really gets nice and bright when the lights are on. Look at the galley. We have a large, deep, double-sided sink so we can wash and rinse. It's kind of a trend now to see these big sinks that don't have any kind of a divider. And it, it's cool. You say, wow, big sink. But now how do you wash and rinse when there's no divider between the two sink bases? So this is a good feature. Down here, guess what? We have a place for a garbage can. Most trailers don't have room for a garbage can under the sink, but they've done a good job of that. This sofa here folds down, makes a little jack, it's called a jackknife sofa, and somebody short like a kid could sleep on here. Two of them if you really jam them in tight. <laughs> now, over here I want to show you the queen walk around bed. Now, Jayco has a really good size queen bed. It's not the little teeny short one. Um, it's also got nightstand space on both sides, so you can plug in your phone or you can plug in a, oh, a CPAP machine or, or any other gadget that you want. And it's got hanging storage here on the sides. Well, this is actually shelving storage. And then you have overhead storage too. And this bed lifts up. And look at all that under there. You've just got a gob of storage there. You can put way too much stuff in here if you want. Now you can also have a TV in the bedroom. And one thing else I'll tell you that's really neat, 
Jayco uses a pretty good mattress. Most people think that all RV mattresses are terrible, but Jayco's mattress is quite comfortable and uh, I think you'll like it. So now this is the interior. Let me just point it out again. You've got a queen walk around bed, you got a sofa, you got a full dining area, and this is just a great setup. And now if it had a slide out, you'd have to pitch out some of these seating areas or get rid of some of this storage or have a smaller fridge. You lose things when you have a slide out sometimes. This is a great design for not having a slide. Let's go take a look outside. Now, the first thing I want to show you is that this trailer is a sheet metal sided trailer. A lot of trailers you see today have fiberglass sides. They're very pretty. They have their own advantages. Uh, I sell a lot of fiberglass sided trailers. They, they can wash up and wax and you don't get, you know, debris and the little cracks. But the nice thing about this sheet metal is it'll, it'll never weather. It'll never deteriorate. There's no gel coat to worry about and it won't delaminate. It's not a press laminated construction, so it's not something that can delaminate. So sheet metal sided trailers are often the most reliable exteriors. They'll, that material will last for just about ever, I think. It's got a diamond plate rock guard. It's got a uh, power tongue jack. This is great to have. Makes it a lot easier to load and unload. You'll notice it's got the nice big propane bottles. So you carry a lot of material with you and you have lots of propane so you can do a longer trip. Okay. Now, when we do this, I want you to look at the battery box here. This area is big enough for two batteries, and we will provide you with a battery, or even two we can put in there. It's not a problem. And look under here, and you can see great front storage. Now, you saw the other side of this when we lifted up the bed. So this whole entire area is all storage. It's got power, or not power, but manual stabilizer jacks on all four corners, which is good because they're all independent height. You don't have to worry about them being crooked on the ground. Makes them easier to use. Now, it's kind of hard to see we're in here so close, but when you back around here and swing around maybe, you take a look at those wheels. This has a very large set of wheels and tires, and it's got a lot of ground clearance. So when you look at the Rocky Mountain Edition, that's what we're looking at here. This Rocky Mountain Edition is going to give you higher ground clearance, bigger tires. You can get off of the main drag. You don't have to just go to KOA campsites and places like that. And people really like this because you can go where you want. You don't have to worry at all about it. Um, and the other thing is, is this special package has extra insulation and it also has, this is one of the best things, a 90 gallon fresh water tank. You can carry a lot of fresh water. So if you're going to go out and play and get away from a, a, a traditional campsite, this has great capacities. Now another thing this has that's well worth looking at, it has a ladder. Now so many trailers today don't have any kind of a ladder on them because First of all, they don't really want you up on the roof, and there is no storage intended to be done up there. But with this trailer here, we might want to go up and maintain our seals or remove debris, and having ladder access to your roof just makes it so much easier to maintain your trailer. Uh, we at Guarantee give you free roof inspections every single year, but not everybody can do that. And so it's nice to have the ladders. So you can go up and take a look at your roof. Uh, also, we have a sewer flush built in. That's so you can clean out your dump tank. And down here, you can see that we have a uh, propane connector, so you can run a barbecue off the trailer, too. I think it even comes with the barbecue. You probably like that. Now back here, we've also got a good outside storage compartment. And then the last things I'm going to point out here about the trailer are that it has a power awning and it's even got speakers for the stereo outside on the awning. And uh, you know, this is just a great trailer, very easy to use, not so big. I think you'd really like it. Um, I certainly like this trailer a lot. Uh, if you're interested in knowing more about it or you want to see it in person, just give me a call. My name's Matt Elliott, and you can reach me at 541-954-8495. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.